Hey guys, it's Sarah here. So what I'm doing today um, wasn't really planned out. Uh, I'm just kind of just kind of doing it on a whim because I really wanted to paint. Um, I was overthinking a couple of different things that I've been wanting to do and um, still trying to figure out how to do exactly um, or how I want to do them exactly. And so it was kind of stressing me out and it was making me procrastinate actually painting. And so, um, I decided to just jump into it and pick some colors that I wasn't already thinking about and just kind of do it on a whim. And so hopefully it turns out looking like something, you know, keepable. <laughs> um, so the colors I'm using today, I've got, um, Prussian Blue by Academy Acrylics. Got, um, Icy... For Ice Blue by DecoArt Dazzling Metallics. If you can see it. Um, that one looks really pretty too. I've got uh, Emerald Green by Master's Touch. Um, 24 Karat Gold by DecoArt Extreme Sheen. This is a popular, popular one. This is actually my first time trying the 24 Karat Gold um, one. Uh, by Extreme Sheen. Usually for gold, I use uh, Liquitex Basics Gold, um, but I have keep hearing awesome things about this one in particular, and so today I'm going to give it a try. And then I've got um, Liquitex Basics uh, Deep Violet. Yeah. And I've got my paints um, kind of thick. I'll try to show you. So I don't know if you can see that. Hopefully kinda. Yeah. Um so I'm thinking I might do kind of like a ring pour and then wreck it with a skewer. And I'm going to be pouring on a six inch square um porcelain tile. So let me get these paints out of the way and um, I will actually first I'll go ahead and layer them in the cup and then I'll um, put my tile up here and uh, get to it. Yeah. So it only takes about, um, I did a math online on, on one of the acrylic pour calculators and it only takes it takes under two ounces to completely cover um a six inch square tile with about a quarter inch thickness um and if your paints are thicker then you gotta use a little bit more so you know if you want to factor that in it only takes me about two ounces of paint to be able to completely cover the um six inch tile that i have um these are three ounce cups. And so I want to try not to fill it up quite all the way, but if I do use three ounces and that's fine too, because you know, since I'm doing kind of a ring pour, I'll be overlapping, you know, um, the layers or whatever, however you want to put it. And so it's not a big deal if I use some extra paint. In fact, I kind of want to use a little bit more paint than is absolutely necessary. So, um, let's get to it. I'm going to layer these in there twice. And I've heard that the 24 karat gold can really, um, um, overtake all the other colors. And so, um, based on what I've heard about that, i am got to kind of be careful. I don't want to put too much in there and have it just take over all the colors. But I also do want it to add, I'm hoping it adds like a nice um, shimmer. Um, a 
behind a lot of the other colors. Between that and this ice blue metallic color, I think it'll be really pretty. I haven't used this color combination before, and so we'll see what happens. My gold seems a little thicker than the other ones. Okay. I think that that is good. It's not about layering them with no one more time, but um, I don't really think I should. Yeah, I'll just do, I don't want to do too much. And this should be exactly the amount it takes to cover it. Hopefully, it ends up being enough. Oh, I don't know. No. It's only a six inch tile, so. I might though, I think I'm gonna add a little bit more of that purple there at the end. <laughs> it's really pretty. I made a little bit more of that um, Prussian blue because it also is really pretty. Okay, now that's good. That is plenty. And all I did to um, prep my tile was wipe it down with an alcohol wipe. All right, so. Hopefully you can see that pretty good. Now I'm going to spin it. Actually, first I'm going to torch it. Okay. Now I did not add any um, silicone to this. Um, and I did not add any min wax, um, nothing extra. I feel like there's a lot of colors hiding underneath here. Well, there are a lot of colors hiding underneath there. Um, Okay, <clears throat> maybe I used too much of that Prussian blue. <coughs> so you know what I'm gonna do? Try this again. Same cut. All right. Let's see if huh, I can salvage this real quick. So I started out with that icy blue metallic, and then emerald green. Like for carrot gold. Deep purple or deep violet, whichever one you want. Deep violet. Yeah. 
don't think there's any more of that violet left. Now let's see what happens. Ooh, that's pretty. That's really pretty. I don't want to swipe it with black. I've got a black cell activator already ready over here. Oh, that, okay, yeah. Yeah, I want to swipe it. <coughs> oh, that's so pretty. Oh my gosh, I'm glad I did that. Okay, I'm going to torch it, spin it, and then we'll see what we have. That's really pretty so far. I'm just putting that there to help move it a little bit. Paints on here are pretty thick, so.
I really like that. Mm, very happy that I swiped it. Kind of reminds me of like a butterfly. But all right, let me um, let me turn the overhead lights off and my flash on. Oh, I see some more cells popping up, like some little ones. Let me torch it one more time. take you guys in all right here's what it looks like up close look at all those colors all those little cells are the ones that just started to pop up you can see all that shimmer from the Two metallic colors. I love that part right there. That part and... Okay, I love the whole thing. So um, let me know what you guys think. <clears throat>